Okay, so yeah, let's get right to it. Right here, I'm washing my hair and I use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. The type that I use is moisture rich, seven times more luxurious moisture with vitamin E. So I would suggest getting that. When I try to pick out a shampoo, I just don't want to leave my hair too dry. I want my hair to feel hydrated when I condition it. Even when I shampoo it, I don't want it to feel like so stripped to the point where it feels like hay. So that is a great shampoo. Try that. And I got it from Walmart. And I think it's about $7. So yeah, do that. Recording this video was literally so weird. I had never taken a shower on camera and let alone in some clothes. So I hope I did this right. I probably won't be washing my hair on camera again and just do one wash video so you guys can get the gist. And I'll also refer to it whenever I do other styles. I did not blow dry my hair. I'm doing damp hair. The product below is extremely You get it from the beauty supply for like a dollar. And you see me kind of like pulling it all over my hair. Do that. Do that. Especially if you have short hair. Do that. This product, the Black Castor Oil Lock and Twist Gel, injected on your edges, injected on your part, injected around the back, inject it. I love this product. This is my first time trying this product. It ran me eight dollars at the beauty supply get it great product and it's definitely gonna lay your hair down one thing about this product is i was using a similar one but it charged they charged me thirty dollars and i had not had a product that worked so good that i continued to pay until i found another one well this is the other one don't get that baby i got got for y'all but i got got with laid hair remember that right here i am injecting that black castor oil lock twist gel on my edges and soon throughout my hair if you really want your hair to be laid i would say inject it the same exact way that i am doing it um yeah the brush that i dropped down below in that picture use that brush brush that head hard don't be gentle you won't slick then make it slick. I'm showing you how to get slick. So use what I'm using. At the same time, after you finish brushing and you realize, dang, some of my hair ain't got product on it. Inject it. Inject it. You see I'm using that extreme and injecting it again. Going back with that brush and brushing it hard. And I'm telling y'all, I'm brushing hard. Now, I'm not telling y'all to make y'all scalp bleed. But if you want slick, how you gonna get slick if you being gentle? If your hair is thicker than mine, I would suggest doing your slick bun in sections, parting the back off, doing the back first, parting one side off, doing one side off, then doing the last side off, and you will get slick as well. I will show you how to do that when I do a slick ponytail. Now right here, I am topping my bun off with rubber bands. Some of y'all use hair bands, use whatever you want. But my hair is not thick enough for no hair band, let alone is it long enough to do what I'm about to do next. Going back in with the brush to flatten out the extra pieces that are not that long. Remember, I have short hair. So I have to do extra to keep it to stay. But if you got long hair, it's guaranteed to stay. If you got short hair, it's guaranteed to stay. Going on my blow dryer to dry the got to be glue that I just sprayed on it. Using the back of my brush to flatten out those extra hairs because I don't want my hair to be sticky. Then, once that's done, you can blow dry for a while. Take your time. Go in with your pump it up spray to secure it. I use this product not that often, but it's sticky just like got to be. And blow dry that through. Moving on to the edges. Put that lock and twist black castor stuff on your edges if you don't want gunky edges. I don't like gunky edges, and I'm using this. Once I do a different hairstyle, I use my edge control, but because most of my hair is done with this product, I'm using this product. Now, I can do an edge tutorial, but right now, I think that I'm going to fast forward through these edges. You get the point. We all know how to do edges. We got different styles. Do what you do. Make it right. Rock your style. You know? Be you. I'm me with the edges. I have no no rules. I have fun. I twist and turn at the loops. That is me. If you all want a tutorial, comment below. I gotcha. 
Xanax strips. Yeah, add that, add that. And wait a few hours. If you want to rush, keep your Xanax strips on until you are at your location. But if you don't use Xanax strips, you can use a scarf. I wouldn't prefer cunning. I would prefer satin. But I'm using the strips. I love the strips. Right here is some synthetic hair. This is not the hair that I use that I dropped below. But I use a different pack every time. This hair is nappy and I love it because it gets to the point. It matches my hair. I wrap it around. Wrap it around how you want to wrap it around. I can have a wrap around tutorial if you don't want that. Comment below. But wrap around how you wrap around. Then, please add some hair pins. I don't know why I didn't add no hair pins in this video. But I didn't. But please add some hair pins in your bun unless you want it to come off. My boyfriend snatched my bun off. Then... Use a hair tie, make it into a bun. If you love a pony, keep the pony, but I'm not keeping a pony. Use the hair, wrap it around, then ball it up. Literally, this is what I'm doing. You like her directions are terrible. That's what I'm doing. Balling the hair up, putting a hair tie on it, and calling it a bun, and putting a scrunchie on it. See? Told y'all. Ball it up like a bun. If you want it to look natural, do it with people that have buns do people that have buns do this so do this you know do this so i kept my strips on for about two hours to get my hair some time to mold and dry in the mold but now i got class so it's time to take the strips off boom there it is there it is the hairstyle y'all been asking me about Hey, if you like this video, subscribe and even comment if you got something to say. Like, come on. Boom. How do y'all like it? That's me. That's it. Sleek Bun Tutorial with Summer Jacobs.